One day during college, I was in a rush to get to class. It's a beautiful day and foot traffic is light. So I'm walking near a Walgreens and I notice something odd in the distance. Some homeless dude is crouched down on the side of the store. A little weird, but as I get closer, I notice something odd. I walk by the guy, lock eyes with him, and time slows down. The guy sitting on the side of the Walgreens. My doo-doos, bruv. Mind you, it's broad daylight, and this man is just dropping logs. I was grossed out, but kind of got impressed by his boldness. Anyway, I made it to class, but at what cost? That image has been burned into my mind ever since. This is a crazy story. It was barbecue season and I was hanging out with my family in our backyard. For a little context, there's a shared parking zone between the houses that's gated off. We live next to a park, auto repair shops, and bodegas, and the projects. While my mom was cooking the food, I was hanging out with my brother on the deck. We're talking and out of nowhere, a car gets launched out of the auto repair shop, flies through the first gate, does a couple of rolls, and lands upside down while sliding into the second gate. My brother and that were shocked. We had no idea if anyone was in the car. A few seconds pass and then the driver's side door opens and a man falls out of the car. He gets up and raises his hands and says, I'm good. My brother and I were even more shocked that the guy was so chill about it, like this happened to him before. No one got hurt, but ever since I felt uneasy about walking past that shop. Why? Because I'm in the hood. Anyway, if you have any stories where you saw a freak accident, share them down in the comments. One day I was hanging with a friend from high school. We were walking in the park near my neighborhood. As we're chilling, a Mr. Softy ice cream truck pulls up next to us, but we walk past it. A couple of seconds later, we hear the faint sound of the Mr. Softy jingle. I turn around and notice the truck is creeping behind us. Hey yo, what the fuck? So we walk a bit faster, but the truck keeps up with our pace. We get freaked out when we realize the truck is still following us, so we start running. The truck starts increasing its speed, and at this point, I realize this isn't a movie. We didn't have to run in a straight line, so we ran into the park and finally lost the truck. Did he want to give us ice cream or was he an axe murderer? Who knows? Let me know what you think or if you have your own creeper stories in the comments. A lot of weird stuff used to happen to me on my way to high school. This time I was running late, as usual, and came across a mother and her daughter. As I walked past them, the daughter runs up to me and says with enthusiasm, You look like my daddy. What did he say? Hey. Now there's a lot of things crossing my mind in this moment. One, I had Ping never pong. seen this kid or her mother before. And two, it was a Billie Jean moment. For a hot second, I was prepared to take this family out of the game, but I found a better way. I booked it faster than a slave running away from the plantation. I had never run so fast before in my entire life. I was gone. Sometimes I wonder if that little girl and her mom are okay. Nah, just kidding. I don't think about them at all. One day my brother comes to me in shock and says his girlfriend's dog named Neela is a weirdo. I'm curious so I ask, how is she weird? He says that she walks backwards. I look at him in disbelief and say he's crazy and laugh at him. A few days pass and he comes up to me and says Neela's doing it again. I say doing what again? And he responds by saying walking backwards. Accusations! These are not accusations. This is false accusations. And I look at him and tell him dogs don't walk backwards. A few days later I visit him and ask for some stuff. While we're talking in the apartment, I notice something out the corner of my eye. It's Neela. And she's walking backwards. Not only that, it looks like she's parallel parking. The look of satisfaction he had on his face is something I won't forget. 